Representative Chris Rosario announcing the state of Connecticut is buying 1,500 tablets to help prison inmates stay in touch with their families during the pandemic. Rosario says his own brother is in prison right now, so he feels for the families who have been complaining since the start of the pandemic that communication with their loved ones has been limited. We've rolled out 1,300 tablets at the McDougal Correctional Facility uh, to allow inmates to safely communicate with their family members due to COVID. Uh, we have recently rolled out video visits using Microsoft Teams, which is absolutely completely free uh, to the families uh, of those inmates that want to connect with their loved ones who haven't seen them since March because of the pandemic. Rosario says the Department of Corrections will strictly control the use of the tablets, which is limited to specially scheduled family visits. In Norwalk, there were 106 new known cases of the virus reported yesterday. That brings the city's total to over 8,000 cases since the pandemic began. Free testing is available Monday through Friday at Norwalk Community Health Center. Appointments are required. Also, free testing is available every day at Veterans Park and Norwalk Community College. More than 416,000 Americans have died from the virus, 2.1 million people globally. But this month could be the deadliest yet because over 4,000 Americans died on Thursday alone. There is some improvement in the fight against COVID. New cases were down around 20% nationwide last week. Meanwhile, in the Midwest, parts of Chicago are getting ready to reopen. Indoor dining will now be allowed either 25% capacity or 25 people, whichever is less. And how many people can eat at one table is also limited. Four or less indoors, six or less outdoors. Bars and restaurants have to close for the night by 11 o'clock, and it is the first time indoor dining at restaurants will be allowed since late October. Members of the CDC studying that coronavirus variant from the UK, they know it spreads faster, but is it more deadly?